Hello, I'm going to show you how to get rid of the DNS unlocker virus. Uh, I have no idea how you get this virus, and I have no clue how I got it. But I was fighting with it for about two days, and I finally figured out how to get rid of it. Uh, what it does is it puts ads on like the side of your browser window and pops up ads everywhere and anywhere you click inside your browser window it it causes pop-ups and ads and shit and it's extremely fucking annoying and it just slow, slows down your computer in general so this is what i did to fix it okay so uh the first thing is is i'm not sure if it uh affects other browsers because i was using internet explorer and i wasn't getting ads or anything but my computer was still running slow so i think it mainly affects google chrome but uh it may affect other browsers as well like firefox or safari but either way whichever browser you use what you're going to do is uh, clear your history and your cache so uh, on Google Chrome you just press Control H then you're going to click on clear browsing data and make sure this says the beginning of time and click every one of these make sure all of these are checked and clear browsing data Alright, and uh, the next thing you're going to do is go to your control panel. Uh, this may be different if you're using Windows 8 or Windows 10. Uh, but uh, you'll go to control panel. Go down to uninstall program. And... Uh, just scroll down and see if you see DNS unlocker and if you see it uninstall it if you see it here uninstall it alright okay the next thing you want to do after you uninstall it and again you may not see it a DNS unlocker under there uh, but if you do just remove it okay but that's not really going to remove it though so uh next thing you're going to do is go down here to your internet connection uh and just click it this may look different i'm on a wireless connection if you are as well then it'll look the same as mine but if you're on a LAN connection or like you, the ethernet cables plugged into your computer it may look a little different, but it's the same thing. You'll just click that. Click status. Then you're going to click on properties. Right here. And you're going to go down to internet protocol version 4. Click properties. Alright. Now, if yours looks like this, you want to click this and make sure that these radio buttons are selected on obtain an IP address automatically if this is your computer at work or something like that then it might actually have to be like this because uh, businesses and shit have like custom IP addresses and stuff but um just if the, if it's like your computer at work, you're probably going to have to contact your IT department or something. I don't know. But if this is your home computer, just make sure it's obtained DNS server automatically. And I don't know if this makes any difference whatsoever, but, but uh, this is one thing that I did when I fixed it. So just for the hell of it, if you're computer is already clicked on obtaining IP address automatically and obtaining DNS server automatically if it's already like that just click these 
and then click them again. I don't know if it makes a difference. I doubt it does, but that's one of the things I did. So then click advance. Click DNS. And right here, if you see any numbers in this box at all, click it and then click remove. This should be empty, just like mine. If it's not, click it and then click remove. I believe that's the whole virus right there. Okay. And uh, my guess is like that's why even if you've removed the DNS unlocker virus from your computer, that's how like it's still there because uh, it's getting to your computer through that little DNS server address right there. So you want to remove that shit. Okay. Then just click OK. OK. Close. Close. And then one more thing you can do is go down to settings on your Google Chrome. Go down, show advanced settings. Go all the way down. And go to reset settings. And just reset it. And then restart Google Chrome and you should be good to go so uh, I hope this helps you get rid of that virus it's extremely annoying so uh, I hope it helps and thanks